Hello BookTube, my name is Nathan, thank you so much for watching. This is a short spoiler-free review for F. Paul Wilson's book Legacies. This is the second Repairman Jack book. Uh, if you are new to this, um, to my channel or to this video series that I'm doing, I am reading every single Repairman Jack book um, in order of publication for the most part which includes the prequels that he did, the crime thrillers, and then, so that's Jack the Early Years, and then I'm also going to be reading the Young Adult Trilogy, and I'm going to be reading The Adversary Cycle, and I'm going with one book a week where I'm going to do two reviews. One of them is going to be short, spoiler-free, which gets released on Friday, and then the following Thursday I do a much longer discussion where I get into the content of the book. So this is the short, spoiler-free review of this. Legacies, like I say, it is book number two. I'm going to read the back cover copy and then I'll briefly give you a few thoughts on it. So Jack is back. This was published in 1998. Um, the previous one, The Tomb, was published in 1984 and then the edition that I have got revised by the author, by Wilson, in 2004. And so there was a big gap between The Tomb and then Legacies. So the back cover says, Jack is back. Repairman Jack isn't your average appliance repairman. He fixes situations for people, often risking his own life. Jack has no last name, no social security number, works only for cash, and has no qualms when it comes to seeing that the job gets done. Dr. Alicia Clayton, a pediatrician who treats children with AIDS, is full of secrets and she has just inherited a house that holds another. Haunted by painful memories, Alicia wants the house destroyed, but somehow everyone she enlists to help ends up violently killed. The house holds a powerful secret, and Alicia's charmless brother Thomas seems willing to do anything to get his hands on that secret himself, but not if Repairman Jack can find it first. So that's the, the back cover copy. This is an interesting Repairman Jack book. Um, I'm rereading the entire series, so I've read it before, and I'm trying to document my reactions as I go through this, and most of them are going to be covered in the longer discussion video. But the interesting thing to me about this book is that there's really nothing supernatural, and there's no real references um, in this to the secret history of the world. Now, I have not read Wardenclyffe yet, which he just released. It's a novella. Um, but it has to do, like, there's really interesting connections from what I gather uh, between Wardenclyffe and what's going on in Legacies. It is a really fun Repairman Jack book. Um, in some ways, uh, I mean, I really like The Tomb, but in some ways, I, I think it's, it's interesting comparing them because Legacies is really... Um, the first Jack book that he's writing that is not connected to the adversary cycle because the tomb is also part of that. And so you get to see some really interesting things with Jack in this one. He seems, I think in some ways, more capable in part because you get to, you, you get a little bit more with Abe, you get a little bit more action with Jack, although there is a fair bit with the Rokoshi in the tomb. But, and this is not really spoiling anything, you get to see um, Jack's decoy cabin and a little bit more of his tactics and his strategy and you get a, a, pretty, a pretty fun um, scene early on in the book or like the first 50 pages or so um, has to do with Jack getting these stolen toys back for, uh, from the aid center that Alicia Clayton is working for and he does it in a really really fun way so I would say that even if you read the first 50 pages of Legacies you're going to get a really good sense like it's a good short Jack story just right there of how he gets the toys back um, and you also get the the fun experience of seeing him uh, hacking a building um, which he learns from Milk Dud so there's a whole bunch of fun things going on in this book a lot of action nothing as far as I can tell like thinking through this I'm like I don't think there's anything that's actually supernatural in this book so it, it's almost like Jack the early years those crime thrillers the trilogy that Wilson released after he finished the the Repairman Jack series proper and then he did the the early um the early years of jack so i think it's almost more like that but you do get some a uh, conspiracy that comes up in this uh because conspiracies is a big part of repairman jack which does lead me into the book that comes next which is conspiracies so that's my quick spoiler free review 
If you uh, want, then you can watch the longer discussion video that will get posted uh, by next Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.